When you think of mosasaurs, some of you might think of the depiction from Jurassic World. Some may think that there was only one or maybe two species of mosasaur. But the family of mosasaurids is much more diverse than many of you may have ever thought. Recent paleo news, we've gotten a new mosasaur update, with the new genus and species being described in early March of 2024. So yeah, maybe only like 20 days late to the party, but we're here. Nicholas R. Longridge and his team released a paper titled A Bizarre New Plyoplatocarpine Mosasaurid from the Maastrichtion of Morocco. Apologies if I butchered that. But a bizarre new species of mosasaurid? Yeah, that title definitely caught my eye, and I was sure to make a video on it. Quick shout out to Shark Toz for bringing this to my attention. If you have any questions about sharks, then make sure to go and check out his channel. But without further ado, let's get into this. So first things first, what has this new species been named as? Well, this newly described species has been named Hingeria acuta. Hingeria deriving from the Arabic word dagger and acuta being sharp in Latin. Clearly a very cool name for a very cool marine reptile. This species was found in the sediments of the Ulad Abdun Basin. Again, apologies for the pronunciation. This area of discovery has actually been noted to contain the most variety of these marine reptiles out of any other place. So who knows what else could be described in the future? But let's just stick to this one marine reptile. The parts discovered of this new mosasaurid included a partial skull and vertebrae. It was dated to the late Cretaceous, which yeah, makes sense. Mosasaurids popped up and came into dominance around 99 million years ago in the late Cretaceous. It seems like Hingeria was related to the Gabialemus, which also existed in Morocco. Though I will note that it seems that the individual that made up this clade did not escape Africa, which is always interesting. But let's get into one of the big things that people want to know when they hear a new marine reptile was discovered, this being its size. Well, this predator was of a decent size, not the largest, but nothing to scoff at. It was estimated to have grown a length of 8 meters, or 26 feet, and judging by other mosasaurids, it likely weighed over a ton. Purely in terms of length, this would place it above the great white shark and even rival the strongest apex predator of today, the killer whale. One which was quoted describing the mosasaurid, the large size, robust jaws, akinetic skull, and blade-like teeth of Hingeria suggest it was an apex predator, further explaining that its jaws could expand to eat huge prey. It seems the maxilla was able to hold 10 teeth, and these teeth were large compared to the same subfamily of Pliaplatocarpines. Now, as noted, the skull was described as being akinetic, and if you don't know what that means, it refers to a skull structure that is relatively immobile or lacks extensive mobility, yet it adds to the power of the jaws. And the skull structure does indeed differ a fair bit from common mosasaurids, suggesting that it had become specialized for a specific ecosystem. Specifically, some unique characteristics include a short rostrum, which has given it the image of being the bulldog of the mosasaurids, robust jaws, dagger-like interlocking teeth, and an elongated post-orbital skull. Its main prey items would have likely consisted of sharks, fish, turtles, plesiosaurs, and possibly even on occasion, other smaller mosasaurids. Since it was stated to likely be an apex predator, this would mean that once it reached adulthood, there wasn't too many other organisms that would have posed too much of a challenge for it. And I mean, since we do have evidence of combat between mosasaurs, who's to say that our newly discovered Hingeria wouldn't have been in the same position, competing with other relatives or even others of its own species? Overall, this just enforces that during the late Cretaceous period, mosasaurids experienced a notable diversification, leading to increased diversity and specialization within the group. This period saw the emergence of various mosasaurid lineages with unique adaptions suited for different ecological niches. Discovery of new species like Injiria acuta highlights the ongoing evolutionary processes that the mosasaurs experienced during their existence, showcasing specialized features such as distinct skull morphologies, robust jaws, and specialized teeth. These adaptions reflect the diverse ways in which mosasaurs exploited their marine environments to become the top predators. Though I do find it interesting that no matter how diverse mosasaurs became, it seems that a large commonality between them all is that they achieved the status of being an apex predator. I just wonder if we'll find anything else in the future. But as for now, we've reached the end of the video. And I know, I know, it was a bit of a short one today, and I'm a bit late to the topic. But hey, can't pass up making a video on a new mosasaurid. Though this is just your classic paleontological update for those who hadn't heard the news just yet. If you enjoyed it, then don't forget to like and subscribe, as well as commenting below what you'd like to see next. I'll catch you in the next video. See ya.